Alright guys, what is up? Welcome back to another video and in today's video guys we're going to be going ahead and trying and test fitting on new wheels for the Speed 3. In case of you who didn't watch the previous previous video of me buying these wheels, go ahead and watch that and then come back here. But we got some new wheels and new wheel setup in general for the Speed 3 and I cannot wait to throw these on. Definitely need to be refinished as you can see we got some slight curb rash and some wheels are worse than some but um, yeah, it definitely needs to be refinished and so on and so forth. Now, a lot of you guys voted to change the color of this wheel to silver. I did a poll on Instagram like a few weeks ago and the top choices were keep it black or silver, but silver was definitely the most vote. So I think that's exactly what we're going to be doing for the Speed 3. We're going to be putting this silver so that it matches the lip and it'll just look cleaner. Plus, like, I already have black wheels and I don't want to have black again. For those who are curious about what the wheel size is or what setup I'm pretty much going with, it's an 18 by 9 plus 45 offset and the tires are a 235, 45, 18. Which to me personally, it's right in between the whole like stance and meaty setup and it'll look really good on the Speed 3. Right here, we got the old wheels. This is, uh, I think it's an 18 by 7 or 7.5 or something like that um, with a 215.45, which is super small of a tire. Yeah, guys, that's a super small tire and a wheel set up to even run on this car. So definitely those new wheels are going to look way better on the car. By the way, huge shout out to JSpec Performance for sending out these license plate covers. It'll look really nice and i never released these but it's just a little sticker probably gonna throw it on to the speed three somewhere we're just gonna go ahead and jump straight into it uh, i don't know how long this video is even gonna be but let's just get straight to taking off the wheel and trying on these ones so let's get straight to that right now got both wheels off um, but yeah like I said we're definitely gonna need some extended studs for the fronts because these wheels you're gonna see they hit against the brake caliper without the spacer on there and another thing that I do need is adjustable end link which I do have um, but I'll put them on in a different video let me show you guys the difference already you can see how this wheel is definitely much wider than this one so this is 18 by nine, and I think this is like 18 by seven or seven and a half. So you could definitely see the difference between the two. This is gonna look way better on the car. I think I might have been wrong. I think this is 18 by eight actually. So this is just an inch more, but the offsets are obviously different. Let's put this wheel on without the spacer so I can show you guys exactly what's going on. All right, so I don't know if the camera can see because the sun is like right in my eyes, but if you guys can see literally right here, it's like pretty much right up against the brake caliper. So with that spacer, it should give us just enough space to clear without, you know, the wheel sticking out too, too much because that's obviously not what we want or what I'm looking for. So that's how it looks like that. And it can't really spin right like that. So now I'm going to show you guys how it looks with the spacer on here so let's go ahead and put that back on now with the little spacer on we got just enough space to clear the brakes and then of course it won't disrupt all of this either so and even if it does, we can just camber this in, do the decoilovers, and fit it in nice. Now let's go ahead and just torque these down and see how it looks. It looks way better. Look at this, guys. And in the rear, I feel like that will, once we lower the car more, I feel like it will just go right in. We have the adjustable uh, rear camber arms too. But what I wanted to show you guys was, yep, you see, since the brakes in the rears are obviously smaller on this car, um, they easily clear. So the back 
doesn't need any extended studs and we can see right here in the front we have the added space there which the rears never needed but as you can tell i definitely want to get the wheel studs i mean people say that it's okay to run it just like this without you know the extended studs but i like to take the safe way and the proper way so i'm gonna go ahead and order those they should be on their way probably sometime next week so if anything once those are in then we can be really clear with that but just look at that guys like can you guys just imagine once we lower the car just like a little bit more so that's at least like touching like to the tire or tucking a little bit of tire same with the rear it's gonna look so so good now just for comparison we can see right here the stock fitment that we had before versus the new fitment side over here looks insane gosh damn guys i love how aggressive that looks like look at that guys it's just so much meaty versus like this look how trash this side is just this angle right here like just imagining it just a little bit lower it's gonna look so good so flush i don't know but honestly guys i'm digging the black like i feel like it looks really really good on this car um another thing i am contemplating doing instead of doing like silver maybe we can do like a light gray or like a kind of like grayish i feel like that would look really good against this car too so what do you guys think should we keep it black should we do the silver or should we like do like a light gray i feel like either one will look really good but i want to hear from you guys literally can't stop looking at this thing guys like oh and then once we clean up all of this and resurface it and everything it's gonna look brand spanking new but yeah we definitely need to get those extended wheel studs at the front because i am not taking a risk with the wheels just like this so not gonna happen ontario cops are pretty weird about this sometimes they'll pull you over for it sometimes they won't i don't understand so we might get pulled over with these don't like quote me on that like they'll pull you over because this is like blocking the little wording on the bottom or something which to me that sounds so useless but i mean it's whatever we're gonna go ahead and throw these on and let's see how it'll look tell me why somehow i managed to scratch that up but other than that it's on guys and I think it looks a lot better. Same thing for the rear. It's just one of those little tiny little things to do to your car that just adds to the little flare of it. Awesome. Hey, yeah, guys, that's pretty much everything I wanted to do. Um, the wheels look great. The fitment looks way better than how it was before. Sticks out, looks really good. Um, so yeah, we definitely need those extended wheel studs and then we refinish up these wheels and we should be good to go like i could just imagine clean wheels whole car all nice and clean car is nice and lowered a bit more maybe like a slight bit of camber and this thing is gonna look so so good this summer we also can't forget the del sol the del sol has its wheels too and it's even way better it blows this like completely out of the water the setup for this is going to look way better and the fitment once we get it dialed in with this it's going to look way better anyway guys i hope you enjoyed this video i don't know how long it's going to be but we'll see once i edit it and stuff like that but i hope you guys enjoyed this little just hanging out with me and just fiddling around with the car and stuff like that let me know if you guys like the setup course we're gonna lower it and dial it all in don't worry it's just a test fit but you guys let me know do you guys like it or not a fan also don't forget to tell me which color i should do these wheels like i said i'm kind of digging the black but i also want to do silver too but i also want to do like a light gray but again i'm gonna leave that option up to you guys um but if anything i'll just go with silver but let me know what you guys think if you enjoyed this video please give it a fat thumbs up subscribe for more videos summer and spring is coming up guys which means car season car shows meets and just a whole vibe is coming so if you're ready for that and you're down for that smash that like button again share this channel subscribe and get tuned in because 
who knows another new car season should be a wild one before i go ahead and end off today's video if there's one thing i could say to you guys is this don't forget to take care of yourself a lot of times and a lot of us can relate where we care about people and we just want to help help others and do all that you can for everyone else but be sure to take care of yourself and treat yourself too it's very important you have to be really happy within yourself also though it's good to help others don't forget to help yourself the most anyway i'm gonna go ahead and wrap up this video i'll catch you guys in the next one peace out stay humble stay blessed peace